it's Denise. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before and welcome back if you have been. I always say I'm going to be quick but if you've watched my videos you know sometimes that's not the truth. So I'll do my best to be quick. Uh, today I got uh, two boxes from Petco on some things I was waiting on. I just recently ordered. Uh, if you've been following my puppy journey you know that I'm getting a standard poodle puppy. I finally have a date from the breeder. I'll be getting her on the 23rd of this month, so I'm very excited. And I was told that uh, by several people that an absolute like must-have for your sanity in their experience uh, item is one of those puppy toys that has the heartbeat and the heat pack in it that helps the puppy like that first night or two, you know, this dog has never slept alone. It's used to, you know, sleeping in a pile of its siblings with its mother. And some people have said that these heartbeat, uh, warm stuffed animals essentially can make all the difference in getting your puppy to settle. Now, I'll give you my opinion on how it works for my individual puppy once I have her, which is, what is today, the 7th? So, you know... We're talking less than three weeks. Uh, if I even tried to pretend like I wasn't totally excited, I would be full of it. So let's get on with it. Two boxes arrived from Petco today, and I believe that it should be in one of these boxes. I ordered a couple other things, including extra heat packs. They're, the, they're non-toxic disposable heat packs that supposedly can last up to 24 hours um, per use. So... I think, I don't know how many, like one or two come with the, uh, the you know, the stuffed animal that you buy, which I believe uses AAA batteries. I'm not sure if they're included, but I have some of those in the house anyway. Not a big deal. But the heat packs that specifically fit in it, I think it only comes with one or two. So I did order a six pack of replacement packs at the same time so that, you know, we can kind of get through that first week. Now, I plan on, if, if you've seen any of my videos, okay, here it is. This, if you watched my very early unboxing videos, you like if you've only watched my puppy-related videos, then maybe you've never seen my other playlist. I do a lot of unboxings uh, that aren't necessarily puppy-related. And Hedwig, before I got the fluffy, uh, big round, assorted blue color, I know this looks black in this coloring, but it's actually a very dark blue. Then we've got, this is actually like a royal blue, but in this lighting you can't really tell. Of course, this is like sky blue that kind of matches my, my, my bedding and stuff. My bed is getting like taller and taller as the weather gets colder, and it's like, how many layers of blankets can I add? Um, but yeah, if, if, you remember, if you've seen my videos from the beginning, you'll know that Hedwig used to always be hanging out on the bed with me. She kind of got moved aside when I remade the bed and had the like pile of round pillows which caught my eye on sale one day but yeah yeah my girl Hedwig is back in the picture so here is here here's the toy I'm talking about there's the description well that's telling you more about it and showing you the picture here is the top of the tag move it down in fact it'd probably just be easier for me to take it out of the packaging so that you can see it. And I'm just trying to look inside, okay, yes, inside the package then is the additional six pack of heat packs that go with it. So the puppy has not only that sound of a heartbeat that it recognizes, but the warmth of laying next to another living body. Now these are non-toxic, not that you should be letting your puppy eat them, and they are inside the toy um, but they, you know, they make sure that they're non-toxic just on the off chance that the puppy chewed through the toy or that this leaked. Um, it's been 15 years since I raised a puppy. My beagle is 15 years old and he was already, like, I didn't get him right at eight weeks. He was a little bit older when I got him. So he kind of like just adjusted to the house. We didn't really go through puppy anxiety stuff with him. So... My poodle, who I'm getting, my, my little uh, Percy, is going to be eight weeks when I pick her up. So she's really a baby. And 
you know, like I said, this will be her first experience sleeping away from her siblings and mother. So when my friend who is very experienced and has raised many dogs, talking to you, Betsy, hope you watch this, uh, told me that she really had heard good things about this. And I, that, I know I'm like covering my face, but I, you know, I figure it's more, you know what I look like by this point. It's more important that you see what the product is. Anyway, like I said, they sell, you can buy these, I think in packs of three, six or 12, the refills. I went with a six pack. I'm hoping by the end of a week, she'll be settled enough that she won't need that anymore. I mean, the room is going to be warm. I have a space heater specifically for the room where I set up her, her crate. I know it's a little bit out of your sight. Uh, if I point the camera down, you're staring at my lap and not seeing my head, which is just a little weird. So just bear with me while I just kind of cut some tapes so that I can open this cardboard. I don't want to accidentally cut the uh, the stuffed animal. Oh wait, it's got one of those like you know plastic like zip tie kind of things holding it in, and so it's a matter of wedging the scissors under it and liberating the stuffed animal. Okay, so. Here is the, uh, and it's funny because my puppy is going to be a black standard poodle puppy. So she'll be used to sleeping with other black puppies. It's an all uh, black litter that she comes from. And, you know, so, hey, not that I would have cared what color the, uh, the toy puppy was. But to her, this is the color little fuzzy body that she's used to sleeping next to. So I figure bonus, right? Um, bear with me. I have never used one of these before, so I'm kind of checking it out as I'm showing it to you. Um, some of you may have already used this and you're like, oh my god, Denise, move faster. I can feel that there's Velcro here, so I'm trying to see, like, is this the battery pack or is this, like, this is right along, like, the seam of the belly. You can feel that there's Velcro. You can probably hear it. This is not Velcro that gives up easy, which is a good thing, because you wouldn't want the dog to be able to easily open it. Um, I'm trying to feel if there's, like, that I feel where a battery pack would go in, or I feel... Um, actually, the heartbeat thing, I think, is a separate thing, so that's probably why I'm not feeling that. I don't think it's in here yet. Okay, here's, like, a pocket. You can see that I pulled out this pocket, I'm trying to see, like, is there a zipper, is there a top, is there, H how do you get things into the pocket? Okay, there's a zipper, I think. No, that's more Velcro, I'm feeling. Um, I don't, like, I don't want to tear off Velcro when I think I'm separating Velcro. I don't actually tear off a strip of Velcro because then it won't close. Um, all right. My little question to myself here is, okay, there's the pocket. How do you get anything inside it? Um, just trying to feel for where the opening is to get into the pocket. Trying to see if that, no, that doesn't feel like there's any give. Like, I'm thinking maybe this strip of Velcro is holding it closed, but no, because that's like the soft part that the more hooky part would attach to. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to read the instructions, but I'm assuming, you know, by the size and shape that this is where the heat pack goes in. <laughs> I just haven't figured out how you get it in there. I'm sure it says so in the instructions. Now, this, I believe, is the heartbeat portion. So let me just use the scissors again. It says real feel heartbeat anxi anxiety solution snuggle puppy. That's what it says on the top of the packaging. You ever notice sometimes like even though it makes you look a little bit like a savage it's easier to just tear stuff? Well apparently that's not the case because I can't tear this. I can try. Oh I I can tear between the layers. Now we're making progress. Okay. So this, oh, and it comes with 
Okay, it comes with one heat pack. So if you buy the puppy, it comes with this little thing, which is going to make the heartbeat sound, and it comes with one of the heat packs that are supposed to last up to 24 hours. Again, I've never used it, so I can't vouch for if it lasts 24 hours, but that's what they say. Um, you can see right on here, it says 24 hour heat pack. And it's supposed to mimic the body temperature of a puppy. So that, you know, her cuddling up to this would feel like being with her siblings. Now, just in case you're wondering, yes, I did send a t-shirt that I wore for two days straight. And I mean two days straight. I wore it under my day clothes, and at night when I got changed, I'm in a nightgown. Uh, at night when I got changed in into pajamas or a nightgown, I kept that t-shirt on. And the next morning, I put my day clothes on over it. So for two days straight, I didn't shower. You'll be happy to know I wore deodorant. Uh, but the important thing was that my scent got on that t-shirt. So for two days straight, day and night, I wore that t-shirt under whatever else I was wearing. I then put it in a plastic bag and priority mailed it to the breeder. She let me know that she received it and that she's putting it where the puppies are sleeping so that my scent will be a familiar scent when I come to pick the puppy up. Um... According to her, this can be very helpful in the puppy not seeing you as a complete stranger because your scent is already, you know, they may not know who's attached to it, but it's a familiar scent. I know, off topic. If you're new to my channel, I warned you about that. But um, I, feel like it, I feel like if you're getting a new puppy, that's something you might want to know and ask your breeder about. If you can, just like they're going to send you home, if they're, you know, like my breeder, is sending me home with like a little blankie that will have slept in with the litter so that on their car ride home and that first night my puppy will have that little blankie that smells like her mom and her litter mates. Conversely, right now she has a t-shirt that smells like me. Now granted, all her litter mates also have it, but her nose will recognize that scent when she meets me. So, okay, let's look at this. This is the the heartbeat part of it. I don't know if the batteries are included. I don't feel anything happening. When, oh, well, there's this one of those tags that protects batteries. So maybe the batteries are in there. Can you hear that? You can hear it, and you can ever so slightly feel it. There is definitely a heart I'm trying to stop it. Okay, it's easy to turn it on. How do you turn it off? I don't want to kill the batteries the first day I got the thing. Are you kidding me? I'm holding it down. Okay, you have to hold it down for like four or five seconds. Maybe that's so the puppy doesn't accidentally turn it off if they step on it the wrong way or something. If you hold the button down for like four or five seconds, the heartbeat turns off. But it was definitely a soft little thump, 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 thump. And I could just barely feel the vibration of it in my fingers. So I'm sure once it's inside the stuffed animal, it will be more subtle. But, you know, obviously when it's inside a real puppy, their heartbeat is subtle, and you have to be close to them or touching them to feel it or hear it. So hopefully this does a good job of mimicking that. So this goes... Wouldn't it be nice if I read the directions? It does give you directions. Um, they're at the bottom of the box here. I know, I'm one of those people who it's like, ah, oh, this should be easy, I should be able to figure it out, it should be self-explanatory. And then when I can't figure it out, I feel like, well, dummy, you should have picked up the directions as soon as you open the box. The little pamphlet is just kind of wedged in the box. Okay, here we go. There's a thank you for buying the product, and here we go. Granny glasses, if you watch my videos, you know uh, I can't read without them. 
Pull the tab to activate the battery. All right, we did that for the feel real heartbeat. Open the pocket and insert the heartbeat on the underside of the snuggle puppy or kitty. This comes in a kitty version as well. Uh, it tells you how to turn it on and off. It tells you that it uses AAA batteries and how to replace them. Apparently you need a small screwdriver to take. Um, you can see there are two screws on the back of it that you would need a small screwdriver to uh, replace the batteries. It tells you how to use uh, the heat packs. It says open, open the package and expose it to air to begin the heating process. Uh, that typically lasts 24 hours. Insert the pack with or without the pulsing heart into the underside pocket. Um, now they're making it sound like it's easy to open the pocket. Oh look, there, and there's there is a puppy happily snuggled up to its fake puppy counterpart. That's what I'm hoping to see when my dog meets this. Um, so, okay. Let, now, now that I've read that, not that it has given me any insight into how do I open this. I mean, you can, you can see this pocket, right? This is a seam. It's a sewn closed seam where the tag is. I'm trying to feel along the edges, like are any of them open? Does it feel like it pulls open at any edge or any other edge? I'm pulling kind of along each side. Again, I don't want to rip it. Um, I don't know if you like I'm doing stuffed animal autopsy, trying to, you know, shove my hands in where I'm accidentally going to tear it. I can't feel where you open this pocket to put anything in it. It's like sewn shut on all the sides, which, and again, I'm pulling in case any of the sides are Velcro, but they don't seem to be. I see Velcro. Can't really tell because it's all black. This strip right along here is Velcro, but that's part of what seals the belly of the puppy. So I don't see how that's related to getting anything into this pocket. Uh, I don't see any way of getting anything into this pocket, which is a little discouraging. Um, I will try to figure that out on my own and, or I will look up, you know, I will Google it and see if, because if I have a defective one and, <laughs> and I'm sitting here like frustrating everybody when in fact I maybe have a defective one, that doesn't help you because you're probably going to get a normal one and not have this problem. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time watching me try to figure out how to open this pouch that the heartbeat and the heat pack will go in before I put her into bed with the puppy. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to put these things inside the, uh, the, the you know, the, the pouch, the inside the, the stuffed puppy. And I'm going to close it with, like I said, there are vel there's the Velcro straps that are definitely, you know, for the outside, for sealing, like, you know, sort of along where the middle of the puppy's belly would be. So those things are pretty securely sealed in there. You can see I'm shaking it, nothing's falling out. But they're not inside that inner pocket where they belong. So... I will do some research on that and I'll put it in the comment section if I find something. I don't want to spend more time on it. Now, uh, let me just double check what else was in this second box because, big surprise, I've spent more time on this than I wanted to, and I'm sure more time than you wanted to. Although, I feel like if you get something and it's confusing and it's not self-explanatory, like, I want to know that if I watch an unboxing or a product review. Because when the company itself puts out a video of how their product works, they always make it work perfectly smoothly the first time you use it. You know, there's never any issues, there's never any missing pieces, there's never any problems. 
And let's face it, we've all learned that that is not necessarily how it goes when you open a product. So I like to be realistic. I like to show you when I open something. Opening the next box. I like to show you when I open something uh, the reality of, okay, you know, I opened it. Is it hard to get out of the packaging? Is it hard to... Um, you know, figure out how to work it, if it's some sort of electronic device, or because I don't just do animal things. If you look at my unboxings, I do everything from subscription boxes to kitchen gadgets, to you name it. Um, okay, I got a classic Kong. I had bought one of these already for her. This is a medium size Kong. I had bought one already, but my Beagle um, one day was having a needy day. So I put peanut butter in it, and he has now decided that it is the most wonderful thing, and he wanted to keep it. He's 15 years old, God bless him, and I'm not going to take it away from him. I mean, not that he resource guards. I most certainly can take things out of his mouth, let alone just away from his area. But he deserves to be happy, and if having the Kong with some peanut butter in it once in a while makes him happy, it was well worth the price to buy another one for the puppy. So I went with the medium size one because, again, she's only going to be eight weeks old when I get her. I did also buy the, the puppy baby Kongs, but I anticipate being a larger breed dog. She's going to outgrow those relatively quickly. You never want to buy too small of a chew toy because of the, the choking hazard. Um, anyone will tell you these should be used under supervision just in case your dog were, try, were to try to put the whole thing in its mouth. To try to prevent that, you want to go with a larger size so your dog can't easily put the whole thing in its mouth. So I do have the puppy size ones, which are also a little softer. Like they, you know, I'm giving a good squeeze with my fingers and this is barely giving. Um, the puppy ones are a little softer, so a little easier for a puppy to chew. Um, you know, it's got that good old Kong hole on the bottom and little hole on the top so that, you know, it doesn't create vacuum when you put something in there and, you know, it won't let it come out. So you can stuff this with whatever. Lots of people talk about that. I'm not going to bore you with about you with how to use a Kong. Um, if you're not familiar, many people talk about it so you can, you know, check out videos on how to use a comb. I did get her just as a chewing, you know, teething option, something to have in her crate. I got her a, a bully stick. Now, again, this is on the smaller side. This is for while she's still really small. Once she's a larger dog, I would not give her such a small chew because she could try to put the whole thing in her mouth. But during the early puppy days of just, you know, and you can't get angry at them for chewing. They need to chew. They're teething, and chewing is a natural dog behavior. So giving them the appropriate things to chew on is important. Now, last but not least in this box, we have... Now, I had to guess here on sizes, and I also, also had to go with, do I want her to outgrow it the first week I have her? I live in a very cold climate. So a young puppy out in very cold weather, uh, by very cold, I mean it can be minus 20 to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter, sometimes for weeks at a time. I don't want her getting frostbite or hypothermia during potty breaks. So I got this little, <laughs> I actually think it's very pretty. I also got a raincoat for her that I showed in, in another video. But this is like a sort of velour puffy puffy jacket. So I wouldn't use it when it was raining, but just for warmth. Uh, nice jacket. And you can either do like a step in, it's got the big armholes, or the whole middle Velcros. So if your dog doesn't want something put over their head, you could just kind of put this over their back and then put, you know, each front paw through. If you have a dog that's you know, sensitive or nervous about having things put over its head. And sometimes at that eight or nine week mark, they may be going through a fear period 
And so if she seems nervous about things being, you know, I'm not talking something quick like a collar that she barely sees, but something big like a blunt, like a sweater or a jacket that would obstruct her vision for a minute. I don't want her to get scared and therefore feel like having some sort of clothing put on is a bad thing. Let me show you the brand of this. Uh, because I took the glasses off. Uh, Bono, I believe. Bono Co. is the name. You can see it. Um, now, I was told to expect she'll probably be anywhere between like eight, eight and a half to ten pounds by the time she comes home. Uh, her parents are both large standard poodles. I mean, st standard poodles, if you're not familiar, are the largest of the poodle varieties. But her parents happen to be large within standard poodles, which is what I wanted. So she's she's going to be a big puppy. And I wanted to get something that would at least hopefully get through a few months of the winter. Uh, it might be a little big on her at first. If it is, I guess I'll stick more to just the raincoat if it's raining out. But I don't want, like I said, I don't want her freezing when we go outside. So I thought this was cute. And I think the pink will look cute against her black coat. So that's it. That's what I got from um, Petco. And once I actually have my puppy, which I'll be getting on the 23rd, so the 23rd will be her first night home. Once I have her and I use this for the first couple nights, um, I'll let you know what I think in terms of if it makes a difference. Like, does she seem to like it and snuggle up to it more when the heartbeat and the heat pack are on? Like, does she notice that difference as opposed to it just being a stuffed animal? So I will let you know that after I've actually used it. At this point, I can't really review the product. I can just show it to you. Um, I do think it's adorable in its own right. It's very cute. Uh, but I am hoping, as I've been told, that it can be a real lifesaver in terms of your puppy settling down the first couple nights and going to sleep. So I hope you found this informative. If you, like me, have never used this particular product or, you know, it comes in, there are a couple different brands of similar product. So I'm not, you know, necessarily supporting one brand over the other. As you saw, I bought it on, you know, on Petco.com. Uh, I've never used one personally, but I have heard they can be lifesavers, and I'll let you know once I know what, you know, how my puppy reacts, and I know every puppy is going to react differently. Some will probably love it, and others may not find it helpful. I'm hoping my puppy loves it. Um, so that's it. I hope you found it helpful if you were considering something like that. And, you know, that you know that you can order these refill packs of the heat packs because when you purchase that puppy, you know, stuffed animal, remember, it only comes with one. And they are single use. This is not something you put in the microwave and reuse. It's like, you know, almost like a first aid cold pack, how you like squeeze it, it pops, and then it's good for, you know, however many hours. These say they're 24 hours, but they are single use. So if... I would highly recommend buying like the six pack of refills at least you know if you think you want to buy more than that by all means buy more than that I'm hoping by the end of a week she'll be settled in enough and used to being here that hopefully I won't need this anymore after that plus she'll um, you know certainly I'm gonna make sure the room is warm enough so that's what I got I hope you found it informative um, like I said, whether you were considering getting one of these type of, uh, assistive toys or whether you've never even heard of them, hopefully you will find them, uh, interesting and maybe something that you would consider purchasing if you're getting a new puppy who's going to be spending their first night actually sleeping away from their litter mates and their mother. So, uh, I would appreciate uh, as I, I always ask you, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, leave a comment. Let me know, especially if you have used 
one of these type of heartbeat slash heater type stuffed animals. Let me know how your puppy reacted to it. Did you find it helpful? Uh, do you have any tips? Do you have any idea how I get the heating pack <laughs> inside that thing? Uh, if it's something I'm doing wrong and that, I, you know, it isn't actually a defective one. But um, I would love to hear uh, personal experience if you've had it with it. And um, yes, I am, I am trying to grow my YouTube channel. So I would appreciate if you like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things that help get my videos shown to other people who might find them to be of interest. And yes, I feel like I'm shamelessly begging when I ask you that. But I feel like if you got any value out of watching this, I, I just ask you to take those few seconds to like and subscribe and leave me a little comment. Have a great day, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch. It is truly appreciated, and um, I never take for granted that you have the option of watching a million other things. And from the heart, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a great day.